Welcome to Comic Shop News. I'm Dan, and this week we're going to be talking about The Guest by Adam Wingard, starring Dan Stevens and Micah Monroe. The movie starts out with this guy sh running, and he shows up at the door, and he says that he served with this family's David. son who died overseas. His name was Caleb. Um, he introduces himself as David, and he starts telling the story. He shows a photo with him in the same unit with their son. Uh, the mother breaks down and cries, and he comes off as somewhat charming and a little off. Um, Dan Stevens in this movie, I'll just start out by saying he kind of does a little bit of a McConaughey. Um, it works, though, because he's weirdly charming and off-putting at the same time. So he ends up staying at the house, meets the father. Um, Micah Monroe plays Anna, the sister, or the daughter, sister of Caleb. And they have a younger son, Lucas. Um, he manages to infiltrate this family, and they, they think he's just the best thing. He's this lost link to their son who they, they're grieving. They're, they're constantly just at odds about what happened to their son and, you know, this weird pit of just sadness they have. And as it keeps going, he gets further and further in with the family. They let him stay there. And Anna takes him to a party with her. He ends up having sex with one of her friends. And you start seeing a little bit of the dark side of him when one of the guys at the party is talking about, you know, supporting the troops, stuff like that. Um, David starts asking for guns. Um, he ends up having sex with one of her friends. And uh, actually fairly graphic scene, to be honest. Um, he comes back out. Um, Thanks they go everybody. back home. Micah Monroe yeah, no had a little bit of a falling out with her boyfriend, yeah. and she seems a little bit smitten with David. Um, the more David's around, there's little hints that he might have some issues, and she starts calling around the army base to see if she can get information on him. They say that he's dead. Um, the boy Lucas, the brother slash son, he is kind of um, bullied a lot at school. They call him faggot and all this other stuff. Just the usual bullying shit in high school. At one point, David takes him to a bar where these kids are at being served underage and starts a fight because he sends Cosmopolitan to the boys and blowjobs with the girl. And they end up starting a fight. He throws a fireball in one of the kids' eyes. Um, just beats the shit out of them. He tells Lucas how, you know, carry a knife, stab someone, blah, blah, blah. Um, kind of, they, they become weirdly like friend and mentor where he's telling Lucas, Lucas thinks of him now as like an older brother. Um, we get a scene later where Lucas got hit at school and he ends up punching a guy and then he gets thrown into a wall and he takes a yardstick and bashes it across the kid's face. And he is about to be expelled, suspended. And one of the greatest Dan Stevens moments in the movie is he asks the, Lucas what happened and he tells him what he did. He goes, all right, awesome. They go in with the principal Good and he goes in with the, the mother. And they're just like, who is this, this guy? Did and he he's like, sir, what did he call him? Did he call him a faggot? I believe that's the word that, that is a hate used. crime. Yes, but that's no excuse. And he manages to berate this principal down to just giving him detention. What? A hate crime. There, there's all kinds of and like great how many stuff in this movie. Against her um, you have to get a little bit past the slow parts. I can't even classify if this is a thriller, a horror movie, or a drama. It has a little bit of everything. Uh, Dan Stevens is just magic in this movie, the way he can kind of flip from charming to scary as all hell, back to charming again. Uh, probably one, he's the only reason why I watched that uh, Beauty and the Beast remake, which honestly was terrible and I wish I'd never watched. So um, the, also by this point, David had gotten the local drug dealer to hook him up with a guy to buy guns from. Um, pretty much killing all of them. Um, he even managed to find some grenades. The grenades come back in a big way. Um, at a certain point, Lucas tells David that the sister is investigating him more and more and looking into this plastic surgeon that might have been able to wipe out his prints and all this stuff. 
and David's kind of thinking about whether to kill the kid or not. And the kid, Lucas, says, well, I think of you as a friend. And David kind of makes that switch from I'm going to kill him to, okay, good, great. Who else might know? So he goes looking for Anna, goes to where she works. She had already left with Lance Riddick from The Wire and many, many other shows as they're getting people together to take him down. Um, already in the movie, though, the uh, whole task force came to take him down because it turns out he is a government experiment gone wrong. And the mother is killed. Uh, pretty much the whole squad is dead there. I, I can't remember if the father is dead or not. Um, but he, has tr he goes to the diner where Anna works and asks if they've seen her. They say no, so as he rolls out, he rolls two grenades in, blows up the whole diner. Um, all of this is setting up a confrontation at the school where Anna is going to try and get Lucas, who is building a Halloween dance maze and setting up for the dance. Um, before I even go further with that, the score to the movie and the accompanying soundtrack, it's a little bit of drive with a little bit of synth. And at times you get um, some old industrial music like Front 242 I heard playing at some parts, a little goth. Everything leading up to this fantastic Halloween gymnasium dance maze and everything they were building. Um, there's smoke machines. This is very much a Halloween movie. Um, it definitely can get you into the vibe. But Lance Riddick and Anna, they end up at the maze trying to get through to find Lucas. So as they're going through, the principal yells the directions how to get out. And then David's there and it starts, he kills the principal and you have a little chase through the maze. And Anna and him have, his con have the confrontation, which leads to Lucas getting involved. And as this is concluding, David talks to Lucas and telling him that he did all right, giving him a thumbs up for stabbing him. Just, it's what you've come to expect from David, where even this horrible stuff, he's just smiling and like, good job, kid. And as he's laying down, the fog machine, it keep, the smoke keeps rising and it kind of obscures the body. And the police have shown up in the fire department at this point. And we get the final scene of the movie, which is basically Micah Monroe going, what the fuck? Everything in that, the final 20 minutes, it's fast paced. Um, it, 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 becomes, I guess, a horror movie slasher at that point. Uh, you have like the maze, this hall of mirrors where Micah is in her um, diner outfit. Um, if you even Google this movie, it's like one of the first images that comes up. Uh, Adam Wingard did a fantastic job on this movie. It went a little under the radar. I wish more people had been seeing it. Um, this movie is in particular one that I didn't hear about it first, and all of a sudden it had popped up on Netflix, and more and more people kept talking about this and The Invitation by Karen Kusama, which is another phenomenal movie, and I recommend highly watching. Um, I probably will review it at some point. Um, but definitely um, the score, the imagery, everything in this movie, the acting was fantastic. Mike and Monroe, after this, went on to be in It Follows which a lot of people love. I'm kind of lukewarm on it. I, I might need to watch it again too, now that the hype of it ended and I can kind of watch it with fresh eyes and feelings. Uh, I always wanted her to play Magic from New Mutants, uh, Ileana Rasputin. She just always felt like she had the look and kind of the swagger for it. Although Anya, Anya Joy Taylor, I think might be good um, if that movie ever comes out. I give this movie a 4.0 solid out of 5. It, to me, rented to watch it, but it's a flat out buy for me. Uh, Dan Stevens is just magic in general with his acting. And then from that also, you got to check out Legion on Fox. Uh, he, he is great in that. And I can't wait to see him in more stuff. 
and definitely check out this movie. Give it a watch, a rent, whatever you got to do to watch it. Uh, this is in my rotation every Halloween to watch now since I own it. Uh, this would probably hit the rotation of Head of Trick or Treat and some other movies. But that's it for me. Uh, tell me what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Thank you, and good night, all.